How many of you talk about level one, level two, level three, level four, and level five if you're hanging with, uh, with Jack Phillips? And now you're getting a little shy. Now you're getting a little shy. How many of your senior executives have ever asked you how you're doing on your smiley sheets? All right. How many have asked you, you know what, I want to see the measurements of your level two measurements? What's the problem? It's disconnected with the way the people making decisions about your business are talking and measuring. So another piece of advice, hopefully, would be that you talk like a business person. And granted, amongst yourself, right, I'm a techie. So I can talk techie till I'm blue in the face. But if I talk techie to our board, for example, I just transom. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not so good. If you talk learning to most senior executives, you transom. And that's the last place you want them to be. Right? That's the last place you want to be. So learn the language of business. Culture is the new black. right? So culture is the new thing that everyone's talking about in learning today, is creating a culture. Because you might have heard about engagement, Gallup, and um, Marcus Buckingham have done some great work on engagement. Right? But when it comes back down to it, it's all about creating culture. And so focus on culture. And whether you are a learning professional or you are a line manager who is most likely doing some type of development with, your, with the people working uh, with you or for you, you need to develop that culture. It's very interesting today. How many of you are, un well, this is kind of interesting. How many of you are not, you, don't, you would like to be, but you are under 32? <laughs> OK, a lot of you. So we go through a lot of interviewing at ASTD, as you would expect. And so whenever I interview someone, it's interesting as uh, the discussion was talking about, about the quality of questions, right? Greg was just talking about the quality of the questions, is the questions that pop from the millennials. And we'll be calling them net genders in a second. The questions usually are, what are you going to do to develop me? Literally, five minutes into an interview, help me understand how you're developing me. Like, wow pretty forward and pretty interesting. But that's the mentality coming into the workplace today. And we're going to talk a lot about that. We want to facilitate all learning. And I'll show you a graph in a second. How much learning within your organization is formal traditional learning? Rough numbers. Pick a number. 10. 5. So the guesstimates are between 10 and 30% is formal learning. What's the other 70%? Informal, peer to peer. All right. How many of you are engaged in facilitating and driving informal learning in your organizations? A few. And remember, you are the smart group, right? This you are the leaders. Imagine this in a typical group of 1000 people or so. That's why you have to facilitate all learning. We're going to talk about that. Engage your employees. Be a business partner. If you're really successful, I think it's our responsibility to share success because it allows the rest of us to learn. And some people like to be shy about that. You know, I don't want to go it up. I don't want to do that. But what it really does is it's not about you. It's about everyone else, your ability to contribute and help other people learn from what you're doing. So I'd say share your success. And if you, if you don't feel you're successful, learn from those who are successful. 